Hello and good evening to UPSC Fever's chapter number 12 of India Yearbook 2016. So this chapter is about health and family welfare. First module is introduction. The Union Ministry of Health and Family Welfare is responsible for preventing the spread of communicable diseases. So these are diseases that spread from person to person. as well as promoting indigenous remedies or implementing programs at the national level for health and family welfare so these programs are the national health mission the national rural health mission and the national urban health mission and also various other programs of the central government related to health and family welfare so the first mission It is the biggest mission. It is the national health mission of this ministry. This was started under the 12th five-year plan for healthcare sector, and it aims to transform the national rural health mission into the national health mission, which covers both urban as well as rural areas. So there are certain aims of the national health mission. One is providing low-cost public sector health care to urban low income families expansion of teaching and training programs for health care professionals research and development in the field of health care human resource development for health care developing it systems for health care and improving their accessibility and creating a framework for universal health care coverage to all citizens of india it also aims to strengthen the food and drug regulatory system and also regulate the medical practices of various personnel so in short this is the national rural health mission and the national urban health mission which have been subsumed under the national health mission so the next important mission is the national rural health mission as you can see here it was started in 2005 and sought to provide health care to rural population of 18 states that have weak public health indicators it also aim to increase the spending of the central government on health from 0.9% of gdp to 2 to 3% of the gdp however this target was not achieved it also aimed to establish fully functional decentralized and community owned primary health care center to give access to affordable health care to the rural areas asha was a important part of this scheme accredited social health activist who would be the single point of contact in rural areas and create awareness and distribute certain medicinal products and help in immunization and assisting women and encouraging them to deliver in institutional facilities instead of home spreading awareness about sanitary Uh, habits among girls and women, and so on. So the accredited social health activist Asha was a very key aspect under the National Rural Health Mission. Moving on to the National Urban Health Mission, which received approval from the Union Cabinet. Under this, the aim was to provide quality health care to urban, poor, and vulnerable sections. in towns that had more than 50000 people but in a phased manner you can see that the aim was also to start this asha for urban areas where each accredited social health activist would cater to 200 to 500 households it also aimed to create a urban primary health care center for every 50 to 60000 population and a tier 2 level community health center which would cater to urban 
primary health care centers and this mission will be implemented in around 800 odd cities and towns with more than 50000 population each so covering about 7 crore people next was the india newborn action plan currently the ratio of stillbirths is large and this action plan aims to reduce the still birth ratio to single digits by 2030 and also to reduce the neonatal mortality ratio to single digit by 2030. Neonatal mortality ratio refers to death after being born in very early childhood and since it is very high in India the aim of this action plan is to bring that mortality ratio to single digits by 2030. So we saw the national health mission, the national urban health mission and the national rural health mission. That was all regarding the health and family welfare chapter. So if you are confident about this, then you can go ahead and solve the national health and family welfare mission quiz which you can find on upscfever.com you need at least 80% marks to move to the next level so if you like this video don't forget to subscribe follow like share it with your friends and see you next time for the next chapter on india yearbook which is related to housing thank you